<laughs> they got it. This here was. We here we are. I've been using that all day. That's not bad. Ready? Cheers. That's okay. Huh? How much is it? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Honest look up. Today is a brand new day. You guys said you wanted more content, so I am going to push out more vlogs, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is at the end of every day or the next morning, I'm going to edit the content from the night before or from the day before. So I'm gonna edit my segments as I go so that way we can confidently, crossing our fingers, Post, I'm shooting for posting every Sunday around noonish. Angu hit me up and she was basically telling me that I'd be posting too late and that I should shoot for Sundays because those are the it days. And then I also shoot for posting um, around noonish, two o'clock the latest, two, three o'clock the latest. So my homegirl done cracked the code, so I'm gonna listen to my homegirl to crack the code, okay? But yeah, yesterday was so much fun. My homegirl Vanessa, she hit me and Maddie up to um, come to this new restaurant called Tulum. Tulum is here in Buckhead, and it's a, such a nice restaurant, as y'all can already see. And basically, they were just doing a shoot. They wanted some content, and they wanted some girls. So yeah, we had a great time. We had damn near everything on the menu, which was A1. Their drinks were so good, and the aesthetics exceeded expectations, okay? And then we got to also meet the chef. She is the bomb.com so cool i love that place actually so yeah that was pretty cool and then they also gave us um, a gift card so that way we can come back and enjoy some food again but yeah i just got finished working i just got finished editing so i'm about to go ahead and get myself together i have to run to the post office to ship off some um hair for a customer and then i have to go to barb's house because she just got finished editing her vlog she basically wants me to show her how to input special effects to her vlogs to make her vlogs a little bit more spicy so yeah i'm gonna do that today and then we're gonna pack later on tonight because tomorrow we're going to Virginia. Whoop, whoop, love it, that's too bad. I'm so excited to go home. Mama is throwing a party this weekend. You know her parties be A1, so I'm like super excited. But yeah, we have a full day ahead of us. So we got the post office next, Barb's house, pack, and then go to bed on time because we have to get up on time. We cannot miss this flight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Asia tour video, that's the video Najee helped me with you guys and you, you're gonna be able to tell based off of my old, just all my other previous videos. So I'm excited to be learning more when it comes to editing, like the effects and stuff. So thank you Najee. Of course. I really appreciate it. We've been sitting here for how long? Like two, two hours? Um, five, six, seven, eight, three and a half. Three and a half hours. Dang. <laughs> it went by fast. Yeah. We must have had like three hours, hours, but I was here way early. I got here like at 12. Ooh. So it's 8.22. I've been sitting here since 12 o'clock. A whole shift. <laughs> A, A whole, whole shift. shift. <laughs> okay, I'm tired, y'all. But we got it done, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to hear the feedback on it. And I'm going to go get something to eat, so I'll take y'all with me there. Bye. Bye. Now 
never meant to make your daughter cry. Oh. <laughs> no, I remember this song when I was in kindergarten. I went to the school called Muhammad University. It's a private school. And I was singing this song. No one damn well I was supposed to be singing this song. But I was singing a song. The teacher had stepped out of the room. I was singing a song. And I don't know what made me say this. I I literally don't know where I got this from. But I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make your dick cry. And I was so loud, I was singing. And the kids were like, ooh. And then the teacher, they asked what I said. And then I, I had to tell them what I said. And then, so they called my grandma. But before she came to the school, they had me standing in the corner. I was in the corner the, for the rest of the day. And then my grandma came and she literally embarrassed me in front of everybody. I don't know what made me say that, y'all. Back then, that's when it was okay for your parent to come to school and discipline you in front of everybody. <laughs> now, the parents now could never. Could never. Anyways, yeah, um, it is the next morning and my flight is today. So I literally called my Uber. So my Uber should be maybe like two minutes away now. So I'm about to get Nala together and then um, we're about to head out the door. Yeah. Every time I get this bag out, she like goes crazy. She just knows it's time to go somewhere. She's so smart. She's smart and hard headed. I wish she was smart and not hard headed. Get down. Well, I guess you can stay out for now. All right, time to go. Now what you in a rush for? But you trying to meet your maker, darling Oh, you running out of time, huh? But time ain't even real, you really need to chill It's all an illusion You get it stuck in the fusion Whatever it is you try to see You can sit down and just believe <laughs> no, Ma, they're not gonna see it. It's just like I'm not posting it until after the party. This is like B rolls. <laughs> she crying. <laughs> she mad. You made it home, y'all. <laughs> I had to take a shower. My allergies are killing me. My nose is itching. I'm sneezing left to right. It's ridiculous. But now we are, um, we doing my semi getting ready for the weekend. We semi getting ready for the weekend. She made me, um, she let me choose a pair of glasses. I chose these ones because these are really so cute. My outfit is going to be red and white for Saturday. So, yeah, I think these are best fitting. Nice. Where are these from? Amazon. Amazon. We got some really cute everything in there, Amazon. Just got finished getting ready. I'm about to go grab lunch with my friend. And my packages came in. I'm waiting for my shoes. I'm hoping that my shoes show up on time tomorrow, early before the party, because that's that's gonna complete my outfit. So I don't know if I told you guys, but my mom is throwing a party tomorrow for 420. It is Hibachi themed. So I got this fit from, from Fashion Nova. I'm hoping that it's not too small. So I would have gotten it in a small, but I was like, I was thinking that it would be too big. So I got it in an extra small. Hoping that the extra small wouldn't be too small. You know what I'm saying? Let me make sure my hands clean. So I just got finished doing my makeup as well. And my shirt is white. So I don't wanna mess it up. But look, it's folded and I can already tell that it's not gonna be too small because it's a lot of fabric. Yeah, it's not gonna be too small. So this is my outfit for tomorrow. It's basically just an oversized t-shirt dress. 
and I thought this would be like super cute being that it's hibachi themed and then I got this bag from Amazon I also got my shoes from Amazon too but it doesn't say it's gonna it says it's gonna get here tomorrow so hopefully it gets here tomorrow I did bring a pair of extra I did bring an extra pair of red heels but I didn't want to wear those heels because they're too tall and I don't want to be walking around the house with high heels on. So the shoes that I got from Amazon, they're more of a short kitten sandal heel. I really thought this was going to be smaller, but this is the bag. I thought this would be like a smaller little bag that I can just carry around. But this is a cute bag. It's a bucket bag. It literally says the bucket. <laughs> cute. And then this goes perfectly with this. I really need to go get my nails done tomorrow morning because um, they definitely have outgrown themselves and I did I did get them done a month ago I told y'all in the vlog previously I was like these nails are gonna last me a month and they sure did none of them broke let me see if I can show you guys look Hold on. yeah none of them broke they just grown out a lot so yeah I need to get my nails done so yeah this is my outfit for tomorrow Crossing fingers that the shoes come in on time, y'all. Yeah, I'm just gonna go grab lunch. I've been on my computer all morning. My friend called me and he asked me to help him with a proposal to send to a brand. So I was like, okay. So I um, helped him create a proposal. I should be like, cause I know what I be doing. My my only problem is my consistency. It's me being consistent with my own content. But on the back end, I know what I be doing. I know how to edit. I know how to pitch to brands. I know how to do all of that stuff. And I love how like my friends feel confident enough to like come to me and ask me, or like believe in me enough to come to me and ask me to help them with stuff like that. So I'm like, hmm, maybe they're like unlocking or unleashing a new gym gym. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? Mm, mm. But yeah, so I've been doing that all morning and then I've been responding to my own emails this morning and then my friend hit me up and was like, let's go grab lunch. And I'm like, cool, let's go eat. <laughs> oh, and shout out to Perry, <laughs> St. Perry for um, giving me this shirt. I just paired it with um, my newfound favorite jeans from Zara, literally. My favorite, my favorite jeans from Zara. And I'm wearing my JBW watch with this bag. And my go-to, one of my go-to silver sandal heels from Semi Shoes. So yeah, this is the fit for today. Sorry for the mess in the background. Oh, look at, look at they did my baby picture, y'all. Wasn't she just the cutest thing in the world? So innocent, so pure. Aw, cutie pie. Hey, Jesus, the cutie for duty. party city my mom took me out on a little run to get some balloons for her party today super excited woo, woo. i got now who bear with me say hey sugarfoot hey took a foot hi took a foot but yeah on the way here i was doing some thinking and i was kind of just like reflecting on my last vlog and i remember the feeling that i felt when i met um, my galore and when she looked up my name and, it, and then you know um, Najee domestic violence Najee ex-husband popped up and I remember feeling embarrassed like ah. and and I'm like well why did you feel embarrassed Nas because that's a part of your story so like you know what I'm saying 
I mean, I'm the one that posted it, you know? So you shouldn't feel, like, embarrassed. And I'm like, so I'm like, okay. I couldn't help how I felt, though. I'm like, why did I feel embarrassed? And I think more so I felt embarrassed because I haven't found a way to make it make sense for me. Like, I posted that video for me. It was like the first step of me holding myself accountable. It was like the first step of my self-love journey, right? It was a way for me to hold myself accountable and to just move on, um, you know, or start the process of like moving on. Why did I feel embarrassed in that moment? Maybe because I don't want that to be my story. It's a part of my story, but I don't want that to be my story, you know? I don't want when people um, type in on YouTube, Najee Noir, that's the first thing that pop up, you know? I think that just means that I have to create more memories, more memorable memories. So that way that doesn't trump my story. That way that doesn't trump, that it doesn't define. Like, I don't want that to define me. I think that's what it is. I don't want that to define Najee Noir. I don't want that to define me. So I need to um, focus on, I need to bring focus and highlight to other aspects of Najee. So that way that is not. The first thing that pops up on, on the search engine. I gotta go harder on my ideas. I gotta go harder on my business. I gotta go harder on my brand, you know? So that way I can bring highlight to more high, more positive things. In my life, because I just don't want that to define me. Even though that's a part of my story, it's not my story. It's part of my story, but it's not my story. I think that's why I was embarrassed. Because it made me realize that I'm not going hard enough. It made me realize that I'm not going hard enough. That's what it is. It made me realize that I'm not going hard enough to... I'm not going hard enough. I feel like I'm not going hard enough. Because that should not be like the first thing that popped up. I sh is, there's other great things. There's other interesting things about Najee. There's other interesting things about Najee that I want people to be like, oh, Najee's hair. Najee travel. Najee. That's what I need. And I'm not going, I'm not going hard enough. That's what it is. I'm not going hard enough because, you know, I'm like, well, what, what do you want it to say when people type in Najee Noir? I want it to say, Najee Noir's hair. I wanted to say Najee Noir travel vlog. I figured it out. See, I had to talk it out. I talked it out. I had to talk it out. Figured it out. Why well, I was embarrassed, and and I have no reason to be embarrassed. I shouldn't be ashamed. I shouldn't be embarrassed because it's just a part of my story. It's not my story. Bam. Got it. Got this, Nas. We got this, Kendra's. Period. Hm. Let me get into this damn store. Now, I'm seriously trying to figure out how am I supposed to get all of these balloons in the car? And how am I supposed to drive with all these balloons in the car? I didn't even think about that. And then I got an olive blue bear in my arms.
Rewind it. Rewind it back. Let it, let it be.